Hello and welcome. I'm Anna the Wolf, a storyteller, and I'm so glad you've joined me today for this in a series of transformative tales. And in today's tale, you were out on a hike in the mountains when you came to the base of a very steep, rocky mountain. So rocky and steep, in fact, that it had hardly any vegetation on it at all. And you could see above you, winding its way up to the peak, a very thin footpath. And on it was a very, very long line of all manner of animals. And it went clear up to the pinnacle. And that's where you lost sight of what was at the top of the mountain. All you saw was this series of animals. And some of them were holding things like uh, little packets of flowers and small parcels. And you decided to go investigate this a little further. You had never seen such a lineup of creatures in your life. And they were all very solemn and quiet and contemplative and in queue to get to the top of the mountain. And so you naturally were inclined to know what it is they were all doing, lining up and very slowly proceeding to the top of the mountain. And so you got in line and you were just behind a buffalo. And you kind of tapped on buffalo's back and you said, um, buffalo? And buffalo turned around and said, shh. And you're like, oh, is this a quiet line? And Buffalo again said, shh. And then you looked behind you and realized another creature had slipped into line. And this was Mouse. And so you put your hand out and Mouse hopped on and you very quietly whispered, Mouse, what are we all doing in line? And Mouse looked at you somewhat perplexed and he was holding a little piece of bright thread in his mouth and he placed it on his paws and said, we're all going to the top of the mountain with our deepest, deepest desire. You go to the top of the mountain and anything you've never been able to obtain in your life, well, up at the top of the mountain, there's someone who can help you. And you thought about it and you're like, wow, I have a few really, really deep desires that I've had my entire life and, and I've never known how to answer them. And the animals just kind of quietly turned and nodded to you like, yeah, I have to go to the top of the mountain for that. And so you waited almost the entire day. And by the time it was nearly dusk, you'd reached the pinnacle of the mountain and you'd watch Buffalo go ahead of you and Buffalo had come to a stone circle and stepped forward and he dropped a flower down into the stones and he stepped back and he leaned down on his forelegs and whispered into the stones and then you saw him tilt his head and listen and he listened and he listened and it took about five minutes of Buffalo listening very carefully. And then Buffalo stood up and with great reverence bowed. And you saw that Buffalo's eyes, he'd been crying a little bit. And you thought, wow, what was going on up there? But you didn't get to think about it for too long. You had your own heart's desire and you'd have problems that had followed you your entire life and you didn't quite know what to say but when you got to the edge you realized it wasn't a stone circle at all it was a well and so you stood and you looked down to the bottom and at the very bottom all you could see were two eyes peering back up at you blinking and you thought oh I guess I have to have some reverence in this place there's someone down there at the bottom of the well blinking back at me. And so 
you began unburdening your heart and you began telling the well everything that had been in your soul for so long that you had not been able to resolve. And you, you cried too a little bit, but only because these were things that had been locked up inside of you for so long. And sometimes water flows when you let those out. And so then you backed a step away and uh, you looked around for something to offer the well and you found a beautiful stone and you dropped it to the bottom and you heard sploosh at the bottom of the well and you felt like you'd paid some sort of tribute. And then you listened for an answer and you saw the eyes blink back up at you and they whispered things you'd never thought of before. They said, to solve this problem, you need to collect the scent of wild roses. You need to find a jar of baby's laughs. You need to find the sun that falls only on your knees. You need, and he continued on with this this list of ingredients and you'd never heard of them before the scent of wild roses baby's laughter sunshine on my knees what are these things and you would have never thought of them it's true and so you took them all in con into consideration you thanked them and mouse was behind you like it's my turn come on i really have some pressing things i want to discuss and mouse scampered up to the edge of the well and hopped up on the stones and began whispering all of the things that meant so much to him and as the night drew to a close you began to wonder who's at the bottom of that well i want i have more questions i really really need to know what's happening. And so you kind of camped out actually behind a boulder a little off the trail. And when everybody else went down the mountain for the evening, yeah, that's when you snuck out from behind the boulder and you went back over to the well and you said, hello, hello, hello. I know it's after hours, but I also know I still have more questions and I feel like I'm going to have a lifetime of questions. And that instruction you gave me about finding sunshine for my knees and baby's laughs and the scent of wild roses. I just have more I want to know about that. And there was no answer. And you became more and more persistent asking your questions. And then you realized, oh, there's a bucket. I know, I will just, I'll just hoist him up so we can have a face-to-face -face conversation. And so that's what you did. You lowered the bucket into the well and up, 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 you pulled and pulled and pulled until you were face to face with that set of eyes blinking at you. And they were your own. I'm so glad that you've joined me here today for this tale about going into your inner well and finding exactly the ingredients that only self has to offer in the deepest part of you. And I would love to, to hear some of the experiences you might have had, how you reach into your inner well, what you do. Is it art? Is it story? At any rate, I'm so glad you joined me today for this story, and I look forward to telling you another. Thank you.